Okay, Prob Distracted here again, and I've got jeans, fancy jeans, regular jeans, motorcycle jeans, whatever. And uh, yeah, so um, I like jeans, <laughs> uh, but I especially like pockets. Um, I'll start from the far right to the left, just to give you an idea of my experiences with them and things. Um, <clears throat> But uh, TLDR, or TLDW, I guess, my favorites would be the, the ones on the very, very far left in this stack, which those are the triple lot uh, jeans. Pretty expensive, but I like that for a reason. So these are just regular Costco jeans. Here's my feet. Um, Urban Star brand or whatever. And they've done actually pretty well. Um, you can see where they used to be this color, and now they're this color. <clears throat> And uh, they have studs on them, which I'm not a huge fan of after I scratched a car once. And uh, they don't actually have them on the back, which is nice. But um, anyway, you have to watch out for that if you lean up against a car. Uh, they have a zipper and a double uh, stitch on, actually single stitch right there. But inside you could feel the flat has double. And double on the yoke on the back. No stretchy, it's all just so like 60 40 cotton or something or 99 percent cotton two percent spandex so it's got a little bit of stretch which is nice stretch is important as you find out in the later part of the review um so yeah these are, are pretty decent uh i i've i've enjoyed those um they're a, a little bit baggier for me as a skinny guy than like wrangler um Slim or straight or whatever that's called. Anyway, um, moving on. These are Bullet uh, Kovac uh, motorcycle jeans. Even though they don't even look it. Um, you can tell because they've got the pads. And then also, I mean, you can remove the pads. But they also have an Aramid liner. So this is made out of some fancy material that will hopefully keep your skin on you if you choose to slide and not have a proper spacing as you ride. Um, I just use these on my little scooter. And uh, now you can see my size right there. They're too slim. Um, they're built pretty well. You can see it's got two stitches on the side because it's supposed to handle a heavier, you can see three up here. It's supposed to handle a, a fall. So like you fall off something at 30, 40, 50 miles an hour, you want it to hold together so your skin stays on. Um, and you see double right here that also the regular jeans have double, but so these are these are built pretty well. <coughs> Honestly, um, if you're looking for some good jeans, I don't know what that is. It's gross. Um, if you're looking for some good jeans and you want them to be kind of warm, then these without the pads are are actually really nice. They have a great fit to them. Uh, since they're motorcycle, they fit a little tighter, so they don't flop around on you. There's no boot <coughs> thing on the back there. <coughs> um, anyway, let me snag a cough drop before I start hacking. Got my EDC stuff in that one. Okay, so then these middle ones, so the, the bullets are pretty good. Oh, it's my first pair of motorcycle jeans, so I can't say much. Um, but uh, it'll last a long time. And uh, yeah, you can see there. Then this is uh, the next one. They're uh, by a brand called Volstreka. Volus Verstreka is uh, who makes these cool little Finnish company. They have uh, obviously a button fly, and these are two percent spandex, um, but they're way more stretchy than the other ones over here that say they're also two percent. Super stretchy. In fact, where you have your pockets loaded up, <coughs> and you don't even really feel anything in them. Because they're all just sticking out on your sides. <coughs> the only thing, I mean, these are really nice. They have nice pockets on the sides that are super deep. Um, regular pockets, regular pockets, and then so they have a side pocket here, another pocket there, and then this is really deep. And then inside is a really wide pocket. I can stick my hand all the way over here, all the way down there. Um, and you just stick a bunch of stuff in these pockets, which is one reason why I got them. Because I was looking for an alternative to my really expensive triple lots. 
because these are <coughs> cost uh, about a third less. <coughs> but the only problem with them is they fit like sad dad jeans. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, <coughs> still working on that call. So these are where the triple lots come in. <coughs> these are some fancy Kuroki mill material or whatever. I don't really care about the material. They're super heavyweight. Um, they're like 12 ounce. These are like 10 ounce. <coughs> no idea what those are. <coughs> but probably like probably like eight or nine. Probably around ten. But this is this when it came, it was like stiff. These are like traditional jeans where you have to break them in and everything. And the thing I like about Triple Ot is they have lots of pockets. I'll show you the pockets real quick. And they have little pocket protector things for knives and whatever. And you have a coin pocket on either side. <coughs> They're a good size. And then this one. Button fly, which you either love it or hate it. Um, <coughs> a yolk in the back. And this material doesn't have any stretch, unfortunately. Um, you got these nice hidden pockets here, which can fit a mag or a phone really well. Um, and you can see that there's a lot of the yeah, double stitching, double stitching, double stitching. And then uh, these um, belt loops are really stuck on there. So if you look at those compared to the Velastrakas, they're also pretty well on there. The motorcycle jeans are pretty well on there. These guys, you can see how much thinner they are. And they don't really have a lot going on right there. They have a little hole in the bottom in the second loop. But um, it, they, they'll sag a little bit more. And there's one, two, three, four, five for those. The motorcycles have five as well. They're tighter fitting. These guys have a, a lot, if I remember. It's six, seven, eight. These have eight loops, so they'll stay up better. And the triples have six. So six is good. Uh, if, I mean, anything more than that is, is probably not really necessary, but you can see the various wear part, parts of this. Because the fabric's so thick and it doesn't stretch, it just sticks out and gets rubbed by a thing. So this is rubbed by the top of my knife. This wasn't bothered at all by my knife, but this, just the top of it was like putting a hole in there. You can see also where something in my pocket was rubbing out and it was just destroying the side of the jeans. <coughs> <coughs> you can see the butt, because I sit on my butt all day. Um, it's much thinner now than like up here or inside the fly or something like that. Well, it's double, double layer material. But, but uh, um, anyway, so other things about the triple lots that are kind of interesting is all this the triple stitching down the sides is super robust and on the inside. Also, the um, the top of it, so normal jeans, it's pretty thick. And then the bullets aren't, because they're motorcycle jeans, I guess they want it to fit up tighter up against your body, so it's thinner, less, less fabric folded. This is more fabric folded. The standard jeans are like this too. And then the triples are thin. Uh, they're as thin or a little bit thinner than the um, the motorcycle jeans at the top, which is always something that intrigued me. I don't know why they did that, but um, it's very comfortable because you don't have so many layers of fabric between you and everything else. The triples also have a little boot protector here thing, which is never, I never really needed it, I guess, because I'm tall and I'm not a short person. Like, I don't know, all the people who wear boots, apparently. <coughs> but apparently people rip this out all the time so the only failure points I've had with my triples are on these which this one and this one are the same exact gene this one's a little bit a size to 34 on this one I normally wear 32 this is 32 um, just so things weren't so tight in my pockets because this was pretty tight it's almost like skinny jeans um, and then this fits more like a regular jean. Um, but yeah, they're the same ones. This one's just like four years old. 
and this one's brand new. Um, you can see <laughs> I have kids, so I spent a lot of time crawling around. Um, wear marks, this is still fine. You can see the triple um, stitching on there. Um, you can see this has a 1% elastic in it, unlike the fancy Kurogi Mills one. Um, <coughs> you can see the size there. <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, the pockets are, are easier to get into on this one than this because of the stretch. You can see there's less, I mean, there's, there's a hole here, but um, it's not quite as, and these guys are like two years old, I think. And this is much older, and it's worn better because it's a little bit lighter material. I think it's like, I don't know, 10 ounces or something. So just that slight difference in weight and adding elastic really, really helped. These failed on the booty. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, bent over, sat on my foot, on my heel, and turned, and it just ripped. Then it just kept ripping. Thankfully, I was at home. Um, but yeah, that, that could have been fun. But you can see the, all the other bar tacks and things like that on this here. The belt loops are fine. They haven't haven't really shown too much wear, honestly. Um, these guys as well. I might re-dye these. I've never done that before, but it could be worth it. Um, but yeah, this is so much floppier now than it was new, and it's much lighter. And also back here, obviously the fabric became so thin it just ripped. And it feels like t-shirt thin. It looked thinner than a t-shirt, like an undershirt thin right there. And then here, when they came, they, sh they ship them in raw. And it's got my EDC stuff in there, so. Yeah. Because I didn't want to take all my pockets out, because the way I wear my jeans is I <clears throat> basically set them up for the week. Then I wear them all week, <coughs> or at least all weekdays. <coughs> <coughs> Unless they get dirty. And then I wash them and hang dry. Um, uh, these guys saw the dryer a couple times. That saw it probably one time. So I don't know if that really made a difference or not. But, but you can see like the difference in color is just huge. Um, but yeah, when, when these arrived, there was the raw denim. So it's all super flat. It's actually a really cool feeling. Um, but it's the same fitment, same everything, and this just shows you how my pocket's laid up. I'll do an EDC video at some point. But I carry a lot of junk in my pockets. I'm not counting the the fun stick. It's probably... I don't have my medical in here. I need to put that in there. It's on my desk right now. Um, and You can see there's a lot of room with the two-inch belt loop, so you can put a, a big belt, a big boy belt if you want to on there. <coughs> um... <coughs> but yeah, um, they're good jeans. Uh, I really like them. Uh, basically, what I'm planning on doing is I'm just going to not wear these too much and obviously wear these things out. I got a lot of clothes right now, and I need to wear it out till it breaks, basically. And then I'll have more room um, in my little closet because I don't like to have too much in there. <coughs> um, but yeah, these are like uh, obviously just uh, rags <coughs> right now. <coughs> but these will be my nice jeans until I can't wear them to like a, a nice restaurant anymore. And then I'll probably end up getting another pair. So that'll probably be like a year or two before these are, um, before these actually look like that or. Honestly, it'll be a year before they even look like that. And I've only had these for a few weeks, maybe a month. <coughs> but you could just, just the quality of the material. Like these just, just hold up way better. I mean, it's four years. I'm not exactly like easy going on it. I, I probably shoveled, I don't know, 100 yards of mulch in that and dug out a bunch of garden trenches and and stuff like that. Anyway, fixed cars. And uh, the material on this is just too light <coughs> to really hold up in thorns and stuff. The material on these guys is all thick enough and tight enough where thorns don't really bother me. <coughs> and I guess that 
<coughs> motorcycle jeans would be like that too. <coughs> anyway, that's my thoughts on jeans. <coughs> These are the bomb. Yeah, they're like a, a buck forty-five, but <coughs> I mean, they're awesome. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.